The question that comes up now is what do we do when we fail a normal form? And what we do is what we always do. And this is where the mathematics begins to come in in terms of the way to apply normalization. And here's the first rule that is always true. Whenever you fail a normal form, you must create a new entity. So let's do that. What I'll do at this time is erase our form. I think we do not need it anymore. And now let's see what happens. We're going to create a new entity. So we do that by creating a box. Of course, the question now becomes, what is the primary key of the new entity? Whenever we create an, an entity, we must have a primary key. The following is the next rule. That is always true. Whenever you fail a first normal form, the new entity will have what is known as a concatenated primary key. A concatenated primary key means that you're going to have more than one element that comes together to form a key. One of the things that SQL allows us to do. And part of this rule is that the new primary key will be a concatenation from the entity that failed, which is the order number. So I would take order number, and I'm going to concatenate it with this key. And the new entity would be called order items. So my primary key is order number, item number, which means that this entity would keep the orders, and this entity would have the orders, but all of the items associated with that order. Now, let's get into the concepts now, what we meant by a non-keyed attribute and a key and dependency. What we've really discovered here is that item number is not a non-keyed uh, non attribute. It very much indeed is part of a primary key. And therefore, the elements that depend on it must go with it. And as we can see here, item name, item price, item quantity, and item amount are all dependencies now of the item. So what we're beginning to do is create what they call a dimensional filing system. Many of you may have heard of the word called flat file. A flat file would have been these two files together in a one dimension. But what's happening now is that these two entities, which will become inevitably databases, have a relationship with each other because they have a common element at the order level. This is the order. These are all the items associated with that order. And that's why we call a relational model dimensional, because not all of the pieces of the data are residing in one physical file. So at this point, we now say, that this database design, which is now made up of two files, has reached first normal form. 